In this Lacert Tax software video, we're going to take a look at an overview of user option settings. User option settings give you the ability to customize Lacert to work the way your firm wants to. Let's take a look. So in Lacert, before you begin using it, probably the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the top of the screen under Settings to an area called Options. And Options is where you set all of the program configurations. We open Options and you can see across the top of the box we've got nine different tabs. This is showing you all of the global configurations you can make in Lacert to save you time as you prepare your tax returns. Let's start with the tab on the far right. Firm information is where your name and address will be. We burn that into the program automatically, but down below where you can put in your electronic filing ID number and assign an ERO contact. The next tab to the left of it is called Prepares. If your firm has multiple prepares, this is where you enter them. Right now I have six. If I want to add a seventh person, I just simply click where it says empty and it opens up the box and I can put in their name, their PTIN, and everything related to the prepare. On the far left, there's a tab called status. One of the best features in Lacert is the ability to keep track of your tax returns, uh, the status of your tax returns. Where are they in your firm's preparation process? Are they on extension? Are they final? Are they under review? In this section, we give you the ability to define exactly what you'd like to call those statuses so that every time you go to change a status, you're working from a list that you created. Now, we give you the first five right down here through final, but if you don't like the ones we give you, you can even double click and change those. So again, you have the ability to create custom statuses rather than the program giving you 10 and dictating that you must use the statuses that we give you. The next tab to the right of that is called fonts and colors. You know, if you see, if you first install a cert and you find that maybe the fonts are a little small for you to read on your client screen or when you're entering data, this screen gives you the ability to change the size of the fonts, let's say up to a size 14 from a size 12. Or if you just want to change the overall look of Lacert, you can change the actual fonts that we use on our data entry screens and on the client screens. These can be configured on a user by user basis. The next tab is called Display. Now on your main Lacert client screen here, you have the ability of creating any one of over 500 different columns of information because we want you to have access to the data that you're creating when you do your client's returns. You see my columns, I've got the name of the client, the preparer, the status, the federal first quarter estimates. So you literally have the ability to create anything you want and pull it in from the return. Now the way it works is on the right of the box where it says display, those are the things that I'm seeing on my client screen right now. Federal tax, long-term capital loss carryovers, taxable IRA distributions, and so on. On the left in the available fields are all the things you can actually select from. Now we make it easy to find what you want because we categorize the list. So if you're looking for a carryover, open carryovers and select maybe uh, federal AMT unallowed passive losses, click the right arrow, move it over to the right side. The next tab I want to show you is called Items to Print. This is the section where you tell the software that every time you print a client copy or you create it, how if you print it or create it as a PDF, what are the documents you'd like to include? So the way it works is on the left, there's a box called Copy. Click on Client Copy. Now these will be pre-selected based on what we know most customers print with their client copy, but what I would suggest is creating a return or two and seeing the, you know, how much paper was included in the return. If you want more or you want less things, come in here and change these options. Now the list on the right lists every document that would ever print in a tax return in Lacert. So we got things like client correspondence, which is letter and invoice. We've got general information section for things like a two-year comparison on our tax summary. Uh, if you want a preparer's EIC checklist, you want the tax payment schedule for estimates or the tax analysis. Then you have a whole section under federal worksheets for things like multi-state summaries, married filing joint separate comparisons, at-risk worksheets. Then we get into the depreciation schedules. You can do multiple years printing of depreciation schedules or just one year, and you have the difference between printing regular depreciation, AMT, and book. Then we get into actually state-specific worksheets and everything that are going to be related to the client's state return. You're only doing this once, and that's the way it's going to work for every client when you go and create a return. Then click on the left, prepare file copy. It's the same list, 
but there are a lot of times you're, you know, the copy that you're creating for your own records is going to be totally different than what you're going to give your client. So you can go in here and dictate what happens there. Now, the last tab I want to show you is something called tax return options. If I open this, what this gives you the ability of doing is going in and saying, this is how I want to treat every single return I do. In this case, we have a lot of options here. You'll, there's one here that says text style. Do you want everything that prints on the forms, the letters, uh, you know, the descriptions and the numbers to be in mixed case, or would you like to force everything into uppercase? Would you like to include credit card instructions in the client letter? Saying yes to this will only create a, a, a new paragraph in the letter if the client has a balance due. Um, then down here, we've got very specific federal tax options, eliminating you th the need for you guys to always answer that question on every single return because you've already pre-selected what your answers are. Things like presidential campaign fund, whether or not you ever want to see a 1040A or EZ, or would you rather have everything going on to the front page of the 1040? Right now, these say suppress, but by default, when you first get LACERT, they say when applicable. But in this case, I want everything to go to the 1040, so I suppress the 1040A and EZ. I forced the printing of the Schedule B. Forcing the printing of the Schedule B um, is because the client maybe doesn't have $1,500 of, of interest income, so it's not going to create the B. Forcing it won't print a blank Schedule B. Only if there's activity on the B will it force the printing and include it in the client copy. Same thing with the 4562. Not always a required form. Setting it to force will include it in the client copy only if there are assets on the 4562 multiple different worksheets that you can create, prior year uh, state refund worksheets, pension worksheets, report all assets on the 8949, tax exempt interest optional statements. So some of these say no, if you actually want to include them in the client copy, you would say either with the tax return or with the worksheets. All the way down to even defining how the software is going to be computing estimates. I preset my option to be 100 to 110% of 2013 tax, but I've got nine or 10 different ways I can select to automatically calculate estimates. Do I want to round estimates to a dollar, 10, 100, or 1,000? There's one here, fourth quarter state estimate. This is going to affect how the state a letter reads. Do you want the letter to say due when required? Would you prefer to have it saying due December 31st or earlier date if itemizing? And then below that, every state has its own specific set of options to eliminate you having to make those decisions every time you do the return. Now, probably the best thing about our options files is, you know, it's going to take you a little time to create the options that are very specific to your firm to decide how you want to set these. But once you do, those options roll forward from year to year. So it's just a one-time thing. You don't have to do this every year. It's something that does roll forward. The other thing is every one of our user options in the tax return tab, where we're actually affecting what's in the return, can, you can override those every time you're working in a client's return. So if I open a return for, um, let's go back up here, I've got a tax return for Jenkins, I'll double click. Uh, if I open up the 2014 estimated tax screen right here, you'll notice at the top, there's a, there's a section called general information. And most of these have O's in brackets after them. When you see the, <clears throat> excuse me, the O in brackets, it means it's an override. So let's give the example. I have computing estimates for this client, Jenkins. I leave the box blank. It assumes my option, 100 to 110% of 2013 tax. But on this return, I can override that and say, you know what? All I want to do is print a blank set of estimates for the Jenkins. Okay, under rounding, I have my rounding set to a dollar in my option file, but I want to round that to a thousand because this is a high income client. All I do is pop a four in the box. Same thing with the fourth quarter state estimate for the letter. You made the default, you may have set to do and require, but on this return, you'd prefer to have the letter say due December 31st, 2014. Okay, if I click the schedule A, Every screen has a set of general information where they are overrides, overriding the, the system options that you've set globally. So hopefully you've seen how really nice and configurable assert is. You get these right and, and make them precisely the way your firm wants them. It will save you a ton of time during tax season. And that's why I think our clients like them so much. Thank you.